Hello, welcome to my reading chair. Today I want to talk about the Themis Files series by Sylvain Nouveau. Those are three books, the first being Sleeping Giants, the second being Waking Gods, and the third being Only Human. So uh, I read this over the course of the last week. I actually didn't read it technically, I listened to it via audiobook. I do have my laptop in front of me because I wrote an outline for this review since I'm kind of all over the place in my brain. I'm going to start by saying that this series is not the most technical. It is certainly not hard sci-fi. The concept is not unique, um, but it was extremely fun and very easy to read. So. That's why I enjoyed it so much. Uh, reading it, I just had a super good time. And I think if you read a lot of sci-fi, a lot of hard sci-fi and a lot of fantasy, you tend to read things that are super detailed and take a long time to progress. And while those are all amazing things, sometimes it's nice to finish an entire series in a matter of three days of listening and just leave it feeling like you had a good time like you sort of watched a movie and that's how I felt about this book I felt sort of like I was watching a movie and that was that was really cool like I said I read it via audiobook I thought it was an amazing experience reading it that way because they had a different voice for every single character which was super rad one of them sounded like Mr. Burns, I thought he sounded maybe like an old George Costanza, which like made me picture him as an old George Costanza the entire time and that made me really happy. My cat is gone now. <laughs> okay, so as the series continue, we find our main characters, a set of scientists, specialists, and pilots among some others, as well as an unnamed narrator. At the center of a global and personal crisis that involves alien, robots, politics, corruption, invasive medical procedures, genetics, a rewriting of history, another planet, love lost massacres, and a very important child. So that's kind of the, the general gist of what's happening when you start getting into the first book. And I would like to say it's a great book for people who are new to sci-fi or for people who want to break from the hardcore stuff. Um, because it is so easy to read and it's so digestible. Nothing in it is a hard concept to understand. You don't need to know any of the science behind anything that's happening because, um, while there is a lot of science to what's happening, there is not a lot of explaining that needs to be done for it. So I think that's really good. So here are the things that I think make the series special. The format and the structure. So instead of having chapters um, instead of it being narrated in a third person format or a first person format we get a series of interviews and transcripts of voice recordings so this is kind of why i think audio is the way to go because you're hearing it as it was supposed to be recorded you have the unnamed man we get we get information about him but generally we don't know who he is the entire time He's the one who is putting together these recordings, he's putting together these interviews, and he's the one who's put together the Themis files. Uh, I think it's super unique. I don't think most sci-fi this could have been pulled off, but I think Sylvain Nouvelle did a fantastic job in pulling it off. Because of this structure, you aren't getting a lot of extra information, which is good and bad, but in terms of if you're just reading the book to have a good time and not to be too critical about it, I think the structure was awesome. I think the format was awesome. It was all somewhat linear, but you do get a real, a really good sense of how people are feeling in the moment about something. Because really all you have is dialogue, it's really the most important things in the book, I think, the most important moments are the recordings that are personal journal entries and that's because people are saying out loud things that they don't in conversation with others that we are hearing and then there is the character development and i've seen some reviews on goodreads that 
thought that this wasn't good enough. I think because of the interview recording transcript uh, format, I believe that it it does a really effective job of developing characters because we're seeing the way characters speak and to themselves and the way characters speak to others. And you have to have the kind of brain that's able to gather context clues and that is, I guess, good at being um, empathetic to um, the way the characters are perceiving things happening, the way the characters are relating to things that are happening. I think that's really where the good character development lies, is that you, you just have to think of it as reading a journal, like, of someone that you don't know, and you're gathering information about these people based purely on what they want to say and what they want they want to say to others and what they want to say to themselves. This kind of segues into the only things about the series I did not enjoy and the things I don't think made it special. The first being that, like I said earlier, it is nice sort of to have an easy book to read, but I do think this concept was a little, is a little overdone. It's a little cliche. It's not the first time we've seen something like this. Because of the format of this book, once it got to the third book, it became clear that this interview format was not providing us with enough. So I would say the first two books, which were I think over 300 pages each, maybe almost 400 for the second, I do not remember because I listened to it, but uh, after 16 hours of listening, it had been effective to only have information that people were saying. However, in the third book, we reach an entire new planet. We're looking at new people or new species, a new race of, of aliens. And it's like, we got so little information because people weren't talking out loud about what they were observing that much. I didn't have a great picture of what the world of Eset Ect looked like. And I didn't have a great picture of what the Ect themselves looked like. There is that that thing with the legs bending backwards um, and how they were humanoid, but I just feel like I needed a little bit more than that. At least some descriptions of the specific ect that we got to meet. I would have liked that a lot more because I just had a hard time picturing them. I don't know how Nouvelle could have changed it up in a way to effectively do that, but I do think ultimately exclusively using that format ended up making the third book difficult in a lot of places to perceive what was going on. So that was a shame. It was limiting in the third book, that format. So while it was really cool and it was really effective pretty much the whole time, there were a few things that we just really missed out on, specifically when it came to being on a set act. So yeah, the only other thing that I really did not enjoy about this book, uh, and it's exclusive to the audio in this case they changed either the narrator or they changed the voice for Eva going from the second to the third book in the second book she sounded like a child which she was she was 10 and she sounded very Puerto Rican she had a very pronounced accent and in the third book it went to some weird sort of New York but sometimes maybe British like thing and the only thing I could think of to justify that was maybe that she had grown up on this other planet, but also their accent did not coordinate at all with the new one she had. So for me, that wasn't, that wouldn't explain it. I want to end this review on the note that I think, I think if you enjoy sci-fi, if you can handle not reading the most detailed, hard sci-fi ever and compare it to the classics and whatever I think you'd really enjoy this and I know that's asking a lot but even World War Z isn't the best technical sci-fi and everyone loves that and I think this series is really comparable overall I would rate the series a five out of five which is big there's only one book I would give four out of five and that's the third and that's because of that limiting factor in the way that the book was narrated. I would read it with an open mind. I would read it knowing that you're essentially listening to or reading a movie 
and if you think about it that way it, it, it's so much fun to read Sylvain Nouvel thank you for writing this series it was so fun so inspiring and because I listen to my audiobooks at work it made work so much more bearable for the three days that I read the three books so thank you so much for watching um, let me know down below what you think of the series my goodreads link is down below if you want to see i don't do detailed reviews on goodreads but my instagram handle for my reading page is up here and um yeah so thank you for watching have an excellent week and i'll see you next time